good morning. Morning, you two. You okay? Better than before. Where is this? What happened to me afterward? You're at the inn in Lady Lake. Alicia graciously took care of the arrangements. You really were asleep for three days straight, you know? Was I? Now that Saray has awoken, why don't we all take a walk around town? I'm game. All right, let's go. He's finally awake. Thank goodness. Oh my, he's younger than I thought. It's the shepherd. Literally an overnight celebrity. Indeed he is. All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Tales of Asteria. Just, um, we just finished getting the power of the shepherd from the sacred pedestal. Interesting way of uh, setting this up. The way the um, groupings are arranged. Interesting. Hey, right, well. you must be hungry, kind shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh, really? Well, then I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little while. Neat. There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. Uh, you all right? Uh, I just felt strange all of a sudden, like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. Lovely. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. And you're walking ever so slowly. At least they were kind enough to provide a button to uh, toggle walking slowly. It's not, it still doesn't seem like it's quite the right pace. Just, just barely too slow. What's going on with Lila? 
Guess we need to ask her if we want to find out. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. There might be something nearby. It Amber seems staff. there's a treasure chest near us. And this one's locked. Oh man, what a gorgeous lake! It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah, now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila, this little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of, of Calamity? Calamity? Yes. This figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented Calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So... The Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. <sighs> it's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. Oh, that's neat. Wait, that's... Also locked. Okay. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Support talents do you have? So the recovers health while moving. It will also alert you when someone's health is significantly low. Or snack preparation. Health maintenance is probably fine. 
You saw him, right? Oh man, I wish I'd gotten to see the Shepherd too. It's not fair. So you think they're serving at the end? I know you're hungry, but listen, we don't need you going and making yourself sick by stuffing your face like you always do. Got it? Okay, but food. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Seraphic arts. Casting seraphic arts leaves you vulnerable to counterattack, but an enemy. An enemy's hidden art, which needs charging, will not stagger you and will always have the casting speed of your seraphic arts. Thus, if you spot an enemy casting a hidden art, by instantly starting to cast the seraphic art, you can withstand attacks you couldn't normally defend against. Interesting. In other words, don't get don't get caught sans serif. Okay. There may be some herbs out here. Be on the lookout for them. Yep, some camel just drawing straight out of the uh, the flagstones. That seems plausible. If this looks like a dead end. Oh, I was expecting there to be a chest or something here. That's fine. I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it'd be so important. It's kind of weird, but I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Hey, Lila, what kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry, I missed what you said. So, what were the other shepherds like? I missed what you said. <laughs> Lila? Yes? Hiding something? Oh my, isn't this lovely weather? Looks like she doesn't <laughs> want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I... I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly! <laughs> You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Saray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. <laughs> We'd better get going. Chop, chop! No time to waste! The food is probably ice cold by now! <laughs> Let's get going. At least it'll never be, um, at least we'll never be unsure of whether or not there should be a vista point nearby. She's unable to speak on something. Lady Lake's Great Water Wheel. Landlord of the Inn for food. Um, here. Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. 
It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... clothes? Ah, perfect timing. I'll go get changed. You kind of smell. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, my! Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepard. It really does. So dashing. Oh, man. I want one. It's the garb of the shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just admit it, Miklio. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary Shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure Man, we know these clothes exactly... offer more mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial at first glance, but it turns out they're practical. Quite so. Perfect for the journey we're about to undertake. And they have a flowy cape. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure we know exactly where to go for uh, meeting Alicia. It looks like all the hype from the festival settled down. But now everyone's talking about the Shepherd. If I'm not mistaken. All the way at the back where that dog was barking. The Shepherd. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. Yeah, hmm, I wonder where she is. Could she be hiding behind that uh, giant floating star? Saray, you came. Alicia. The Shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks! Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Miklio. We all know your opinion. What? Pigs are nice. <laughs> I... uh... I take it there's a Seraph present with you? If I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... how can I put it? There was something... something... different about you. 
uh... <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Right here is a seraph. His name is Miklio. Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Miklio. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim, and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Uh. Hmm. Okay then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? Mic check, mic check. It's still no good. This time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. Alicia? I can hear it, another woman's voice. Really? Alicia, we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. Saray, uh, one more time. <laughs> Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. Though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I see. Looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! The legends are no mere fairy tales. Okay! Alicia! We're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care. I will. You too. I'm um, sorry. Looks like our explorer is all fired up. Neat. Uh, I'm guessing by the star being right there. 
that I'm gonna walk all of five steps before getting cutscene. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. Yeah. What? How did you know what I was thinking about, Miklio? Didn't I tell you I wasn't gonna let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Explore Lady Lake once again. The Archbishop has made no official response. I think he's just hoping it all blows over. After all, she's technically a princess. He's not in a position to do anything too rash. Really true that a new shepherd was found at the Sacred Blade Festival, right in front of the Princess Knight as well. What other kind of Hellions are out there, do you think? Beats me. I could do without encountering Turtle Hellions, though. I bet their shells would be tough to crack. What's her plan of attack? I see we go talk to some of these townsfolk. In a place this big, it won't take us long to find out what we need to know. Back to town proper again. guy from before. Oh, just like I told you. Yeah, I thought I might be. But I know what this is about. Kind of regretting selling that knife to us, aren't you? It's pretty high quality, after all. We were, we were worrying you might have done it by mistake. We gotta make a living here, too, you know. There's gotta be certain conditions. Do us a favor, we'll give you back the knife. Sure. Uh, I'll distribute merchandise to the weapon shop, deliver a work order to the attendant at the waterway, check out the food menu at the inn and report it back. That's, there's no way that... Is that a job that they're offering or what I'm going to uh, suggest? Because that seems... You'll have to put your know-how to use for this job. Ask the inn what kind of dishes they're thinking to serve to their customers. If we can assemble the ingredients they need, they'll definitely give us their business. Sure. Oh wait, remembering stuff? Okay, no, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, that's fine. Scanning in, you fully recover health and SC. If you choose to eat a meal after which is for a set number of battles, you'll be able to earn bonuses by fulfilling certain conditions in battle. Bonus will vary based on the meal. Some skits are triggered at ends. Okay, interesting. Grilled sweet fish and pork and potatoes. Or is it going to be... I see you, Shepard. Can I help you? Do I have any food I'd like to add to the menu? Well, sure. Before these times, the culinary treats we'd serve up our patrons would have them drooling at their table. These days, it's so hard to find the ingredients. So our old menu is in that box, if you'd like to take a look. This, this box here. 
Uh, salmon rice ball, Doria, pot a foe, cabbage roll, miso stew. Any ones that are going to be particularly hard to remember? Doria and pot a foe? Oh. With the crops failing left and right, ingredients have been getting scarcer by the day. Countries put heavy restrictions on food distribution, but thanks to the sparrow feathers, we can at least get the bare minimum of what we need. See them again, tell them we're very indebted. Sounds like they already know the menu. Shafina is trying to serve, yeah. Uh, Doria, Otofu, Lisa Stew, Havoc Roll, and Salmon Rice Ball. It's excellent information. Really helped us out. Hook him up, Rose. Sure thing. Thank you. It's something so important to you. Better think more carefully next time. You're right, I, I'll do that. Ouch, way to twist the knife, no pun intended. Bear feathers wish you well. Well, you're the one who's having problems with the festival, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's right, the Seraphim know the worthy and passionate contribution you are making. Remember, stay resolute in your faith and the good will come. I have the priests and the Seraphim to thank for my being able to live on in health with my grandchildren. Across a child pickpocketing the other day, you have to wonder what this world is coming to. So, where exactly are we supposed to be heading? Are we back here? No. Feel things are headed in a bad direction somehow. Call it a woman's intuition. It's not as though these crop failures are a recent thing or anything, but I can't help feel there's one too many these days. So you heard about the guy who managed to pull out the sinker blade at the festival, right? I guess that makes him a shepherd now. I'm so curious to find out what kind of person he is. All serene. You know, if this wheel were to stop turning, a lot of folks would be in a bind. I have to check up on it every day like this. There's. Now I've grasped this area is quite well. Watch it. There's someone suspicious afoot. Is it a turtle, Hellion? The <laughs> hell do you mean, turtles, Hellion? I'm just a turtles. Turtles? So wait a minute. Are they... Seraphim? Turtles are turtles. Can't you tell from looking at us? Oh, uh, sorry. 
Oh, brave new world that has such turtles in it. Ain't you ever seen a turtles before? No. What are you, some bumpkins? Well, lucky for you guys, we turtles are a forgiven bunch. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are kind. Of course. The big heartedness of the turtles is proportional to the size of our shells. And what were you doing here? I'm making maps for our purposes. Oh, maps! Come to think of it, we don't have any decent maps. The one in the Celestial Record is quite old. You guys sure are reckless. Says, can I sell you some of my maps? They're chock full of useful informations. Thanks. It's a big help. 100... 100 gold? Yeah, that's... Thank yous. I'm darn pleased that you bought my maps. But the map adventure from the turtles. These maps will add more geographical information to your world map. Since they're written from a turtle's point of view, there may be some discrepancies, but you should be able to roughly locate new places you haven't visited yet. If you're ever lost, track down our turtles in the nearest town and try purchasing your map. Fair enough. He's got this area covered, I has. I was not gonna let him get away. Let who get away? Didn't respond when the roll call was taken. You don't think he's still down there in the waterway, do you? An underground waterway. Sounds worth looking into. So one of them hasn't returned yet. Wonder if he's okay. Say that there's a set of doors in the waterway imprinted with the royal crest. That's the kind of thing you don't you're always hearing about in ghost stories, right? Every night the spirit of a prince who starved to death locked up in an old tower is seen wandering down the corridors, that kind of thing. They quit standing around gabbing about nonsense. You want the boss to smack your noggin? Come on, that's just a silly rumor. You know what though? I heard from a friend in a different team that He'd seen a strange shadow on the waterway. Kind of looming, shapeless form, he said. As I heard it, a big commotion broke out in the sanctuary during the Sacred Blade Festival, and someone pulled out the sword and put a stop to it all. Can it be true? Are you going? Yeah, I'm worried about anyone who isn't coming back. Saray. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, is there anything else to do before going into what is obviously a dungeon? dungeon crawl of some kind. I don't think so. Let's go. Charge forward. You can feel it, can't you? I can. There's definitely strong malevolence coming from the center of town. I must say, your ability is indeed impeccable. It looks like you're acclimating to your power already, far faster than I'd even imagined. I am? The day when you will come into the true power of the Shepherd is not far off. What kind of power is that? Oh, oh sorry about that. You were saying? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yep. Perfect. Shop for equipment. Good thing the armor shop had both a ceremonial sword and staff. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, 
When Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that? Quite perceptive of you. In fact, Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. Right then, I think this is a good spot to call this episode. Hope everybody's enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.